don't even know if I had time to think when I found out they were making a sequel. I was jumping up and down. I was just thrilled to pieces. I mean, it was so improbable that these already generous animals would provide us with such an extraordinary opportunity to have a second experience with them. Well, um, you know, it's the next stage and change is inevitable. So as you noted, we start with, you know, some sadness in the family and some abandonment and this kid who's pretty isolated in the garage tinkering with his electronics to him having this soul connection with an unlikely new family member, a dolphin, to the, the two families, you know, Dr. Clay and Hazel and their granddaddy and are becoming one whole family, you know, this extended family of choice and now we're just into the next stage of things where the kids are growing up and they're finding their voices and they want to be you know they're insisting that they be included in decision making processes and when that happens you know we parents have to adjust like am I just going to tell you what to do and to mind me or am I going to trust that am I going to trust Am I going to trust? You know, and then it's kind of the reverse with Sawyer and me because he's wanting to stay put. He's wanting to resist change, and I'm able to see that for his best interests, change may be the better option, even though it's a loss for me. Oh, I'm so glad Charles Martin Smith wrote the character into the second movie. Um, and I like him. I think he's a great writer. I think that he creates beautiful natural drama. There's a lot of subtlety. His dialogue is very simple and quirky and real. I mean, I think that his performance in the movie is probably the best performance of all. And to hear how his words come out of his mouth is like, that's what it's supposed to sound like. What do I like about Lorraine? Um, I think that Lorraine has a lot of love. I think that Lorraine is very generous. Um, I think that Lorraine, you know, understands that letting go is a part of doing what's best for our kids. Um, and of course, I love the scene with Hazel and being a safe person. You know, I think that actually that might sum up Lorraine beautifully. It may not resonate with people, but for an adult to be a safe person for kids is perhaps the highest compliment we can be paid. You know, he is so easy to love and he's so um, clever and gentle and he's so serious about doing a good job and perhaps what I appreciate most about Nathan is he seems to have a real understanding of how special the opportunity is like he gets it that he is with wild animals he gets it that he has this access that most people will never have and he gets um, that he is part of the vehicle that is delivering hope to so many millions of people and what a special thing for a child to be able to savor. So easy and delightful. Um, you know, it's pretty remarkable creatures who brought us all together. You know, if I, I would show up for them again if they provide us with a plot. that I can't really begin to fathom the experience that animals have. I mean, I think that Winter, and it's captured well in the movie, she expresses so much through her eyes. And as deeply as I felt that, and as interesting as it was, it also taught me that my limited human understanding can't even begin to understand what's really going on with animals. I don't know if that answer makes any sense at all. So I'll try just like, I really got the limit of my own understanding and that these creatures were made to be in their habitat 
in their communities. And just because I have a modern two-legged lifestyle, I don't have the right to contribute to them going extinct and degrading their habitats. And I'm willing to make you know, changes, even if it means sacrificing some of the ease and comfort of my life to be able to respect their dignity.